Welcome to the Engineerable channel. Today we have another episode of What's in the Box? So we're going to look at this Gel Blaster Surge. I'm calling this version 2.0. So there's the original Gel Blaster Surge, which is this one, which I'm calling version 1.0. Then there was an intermediate version, which the Gel Blaster themselves called 1.5. And this one had both single shot semi mode and fully automatic, depending on how you push the button back here. Now version 1.5 also had a slide switch in here to adjust the feet per second. Version 1 came stock with a rubber plug in the end that limited the FPS to about 100 FPS, but in my experience, it just broke gel balls all over the place. It didn't really work. And if you remove that rubber tip, then the FPS was supposed to increase to 150. And in testing, I actually measure that on average, it's above 150, probably about 160 or so. The original Surge version 1.0 only had fully auto mode. So when we turn it on, there are no lights to indicate that it was on, and we pull the trigger, and it's full auto. But it's pretty fast, probably like 11 gel balls a second. For version 1.5, they changed the cosmetics. They added a single fire mode, which was indicated by an LED down here. If it's flashing, it was in single fire mode. So every, every pull of the trigger, creates one shot, and then if you pushed a mode button on the back, then it would change to automatic mode, and you would pull the trigger. And it was a little bit slower than the, than the version one. If you listen to version one, and then version 1.5, version 1.5 says it shoots at about eight to 10 gel balls per second. Another change with version 1.5 is that it came with this FPS adjustment here. So the way to rise in the box is this slider is pulled all the way back and it's set to like 90 FPS. If you wanted a higher fire speed, then you would move this all the way forward and it says it would reach 170 FPS. And now that takes us to version 2.0. I actually found this version while browsing in Walmart and I was looking for a Splatterball SRB 400, but they were out of stock and I saw this on the shelf and I was like, what's that? Is that something new? Because I hadn't seen the box before. Now, if we compare it to the 1.5 box, the boxes look kind of similar, but this one has a window. We look at the part numbers on here. They're both GBS001 and the UPC code's identical. So they're upgrading things, changing the boxes, but they're keeping the UPC codes the same, which means they're just pushing the inventory through. So you may not know which version you're getting if you buy online. This was purchased from Walmart, the version 2.0. And later, I purchased the version 1.5 from Amazon. I believe that they made improvements to the version 2.0 that a lot of people complained about with the 1.5. I think that the variable speed barrel gave problems with the 1.5 that they addressed here. What's in the box? All right, this is version 2.0. After unboxing it, I'm gonna do a comparison to the 1.0, 1.5, and 2.0. So we have our blaster here. And some of the first things I notice is it has an emblem here now for the GB. And the switch on the back is different too. So now you have a toggle between off, single fire, which single fire, now the LED just lights up. It sounds different in single fire mode. And then you have automatic mode, which the LED just lights up. Doesn't really indicate anything. Looks like the hopper neck styling has changed a little bit too. You can still remove the fins on it. And the slide plate feature is still there, but there's no slider there anymore. It comes with a similar looking hopper to the 1.5, which is a nice upgrade for the hopper. It has this barrel replacement to reduce the speed down to like about 100 FPS. And this is the barrel removal tool. So you can stick this in here and you can unscrew the barrel and then screw the new one back in. We have our obligatory USB-C charging cable. 
And if you notice, again, they did not put a cover on this USB-C charging port because that cover is just going to get lost. There's 10,000 Gillettes, and they come in a cardboard box with a plastic bag this time, which is kind of odd. I don't know why they needed double packaging on those. The regular cheap safety glasses, these are way cheaper than the ones that come with the splatter ball. In fact, I think these are like, might be even cheaper than the previous versions of those safety glasses. Here, let me look at the, what came with the 1.5. And the 1.5 quality is actually a little bit better of these safety glasses. These safety glasses are just getting cheaper each time. You must absolutely use safety glasses when playing with gel blasters because if you get hit in the eye, it's gonna do some damage and you don't want that to happen. I would recommend getting some better safety glasses than this though. Like, I mean, look at this, the things just like fall off. This is ridiculous. If these are your only glasses, safety glasses, then use them, but I would get something better with better coverage and made from better materials. And we have our instruction sheet here. So each time these sheets change because they change the accessories that come with it. So we can still swap the fins and tips. You have your single fire mode, you have the changing of the barrel. And they have some quick fixes on the back that you might want to look through to make sure like this is just like if something's jammed or something's not working well, or if your gel balls aren't big enough, then it's just going to roll out the barrel. So you need to let your gel balls soak for plenty of time. I don't have any issues with letting gel balls soak for too long. In fact, I just leave them in water for months at a time and they still work. But if you under soak your gel balls, they're just going to roll out the barrel. They're going to be too small. They're not going to stay in there. Here is everything that the Gel Blaster Surge 2.0 comes with. We've got the Gel Blaster Surge body, the hopper, the USB-C cord, safety glasses that you should immediately throw away and use better safety glasses than these, or goggles, an orange barrel that replaces the standard barrel to drop the FPS down to 100 FPS instead of 175 FPS, 10,000 gel balls, they call them Gillettes, and that's it. Now, this hopper neck does come off also. It is replaceable in case you break it. The fins come off, and these can be replaced with accessory fins of different colors. Let's take a look at how to swap out the barrels. So you put this tool in the front of the stock barrel, pull it out, and you can swap that out with the orange barrel. The stock 170 FPS barrel is probably tighter, so it gets a better seal on the gel balls and pushes them out faster. So we've got like 7.21 millimeters. The orange barrel, 100 FPS barrel, is probably bigger and looser. So yeah, we've got measuring like 7.91 millimeters. So what happens is the looser barrel allows more air to flow around the gel ball and there's less pressure behind the ball as it exits the barrel versus the tighter barrel is going to have more pressure behind the gel ball. This is probably a much better way to affect the FPS than the original gel blaster which came with a rubber tip that was kind of tight. That one just smashed gel balls. This should not smash the gel balls. However, I don't know if this will affect like the gel balls rolling out easily or not. Probably not because the barrel threads in after the T-piece. 